Good morning. Welcome to Heart to Home. It might not even be morning if you're watching this. I know sometimes I watch them in the afternoons, but anyways, welcome to Heart to Home. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this time. We thank you for the ability again to come before you and just study your word for this little short devotional. And Father God, I ask that you just, through your Holy Spirit, minister to everyone that's listening to it and uh, touch them in a mighty way. And we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, if you remember, and if, if you don't, I'm going to remind you, um, my last of it, devotional I shared with you was about corporate worship uh, and corporate Bible study. And if you remember, it was, um, well, actually, I didn't even say, it was East, after the Easter Sunday, and I was so totally blessed by everybody that showed up and uh, corporate worship and corporate Bible study. I mean, it's, it was a great, great, awesome time. <clears throat> and while we're on that subject, I just want to welcome anybody that wants to come and, and on Sundays or Wednesdays and, and have corporate worship with us in Bible study. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, how important is it that we as the bride of Christ participate in uh, corporate worship and be taught by a pastor the word of God who loves and cares for the flock that the Lord has given him to shepherd. And since we are on, on our, <clears throat> excuse me, and since we are to open, we are open with uh, corporate worship, there are so many faces, new faces I see. Uh, um, how, do you, how do you get to know these, these new faces? Uh, in a short time, we're together on a Sunday. Well, I would like to talk about that. Uh, I want to talk about another aspect of our Christian walk that's really important. That is community, small groups. And here at Calvary Chapel Hemet, we call them home fellowships. So with saying that, turn with me to Acts chapter 2. Um, 40 uh, and verse 42 and we'll do uh, we're going to look at 42 mainly and then uh, 46 and 47. I'll give you a second to get there and uh, then we'll we'll get started. Let me set the stage for you. We're only in chapter 2 of Acts and and uh, we've already seen uh, the ascension of Jesus to heaven. That means he he, he was raised up to heaven, and uh, the day of Pentecost, which Peter preaches uh, the, the, the gospel of repentance, and 3,000 uh, men were saved. And that is in Acts uh, 2.41, by the way. And that was the beginning of the church. So read with me <clears throat> uh, ch Acts chapter 2, verse 42. And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayers. Wow, that says a lot. This is the beginning of the church. You see what they did? And that's what we do in home fellowships. And that's what they are. <clears throat> it's a more intimate time of Bible study, fellowship, Food, and the Calvary Chapel is noted for food, and different, um, a little different now that uh, the virus has been here and uh, kind of changed that a little bit, but an, and a time of prayer. So let's uh, take a quick look at these items in this verse. Bible study. Right now, we just started uh, the book of Matthew. It's important that you come with a small group. I'm telling you, it's a whole different thing. It's an intimate um, setting. You can actually ask questions. Maybe you make a statement uh, during this time. It, you can't do that in, in the corporate worship. You can't stop the, the pastor teaching and say, oh, well, hey, by the way, <clears throat> uh, 
uh, but in home fellowships, you have that time. And that's how you get to know people, is to have this intimate Bible study with a small group um, and, and, and just, just looking at God's word and just opening it up. <clears throat> I, I know last night in the home fellowships, my heart was totally blessed by uh, the people that were there. They were just so open and so willing to share their thoughts as, as we were going through it. The other thing is, the second thing is fellowship. Fellowship is so important. It's so important. You can see it. It was in the beginning of the, the early church, and it continues today. And by the way, the Acts is as it ended. The church is still, we're in the church age. And we, we see that, that they, they needed that koinonia. They needed that time together and fellowship and, and get to know one another. Um, you know, they came from all d different walks of life, and they, they would take time, and, and they go on, and we see that they... They, they break bread, they, they met and ate, and, uh, and were intimate in that way that they were together in one accord in, in the early church. Prayer, how important prayer is. In this time of, of small groups or, or home fellowships, you get to know your brothers and sisters and what's really going on in their lives what's what's hurting them what's what's bringing them joy what they need prayer for what they want to come alongside you and pray for you on your needs it's just such a blessing to sit here sit there and listen to the, a group of people just pour their heart out for their brothers and sisters in Christ and it just doing the exact same thing as they did in the early church, in, in the beginning of the church. So what does this cause? Look at verse 46. So they continue daily with one accord and breaking bread from house to house. They ate their food with gladness and simplicity of heart. Oh, how, oh, how I need simplicity of heart. I love that verse. They, they ate their food with gladness and simplicity of heart. We get so caught up. We get so sidetracked with life in itself. And you can see the simplicity of just getting together and, and fellowshipping and being in one accord through the blood of Jesus Christ. And verse uh, 47 says, praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added, the Lord added to the church daily those who were being saved. So what happens with small group and you get intimate and, you, and you, you, you come together in one accord with simplicity of heart and with praise and prayer and Bible study. It just boils over. It says it, having favor with all people. And because of that, people were saved. And that's the why we encourage home fellowships. I just want to just reach out and touch you guys and, and, and say, God bless you. And if you're not involved in a small group, get involved with a small group. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, just thank you for this day. Just thank you for the ability to come before you and just humble ourselves to who you are and what you've done for us. I, I just ask that you just touch each and every one that's watching this, and I ask that you pour out your Holy Spirit on them. And we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Goodbye till next time.